Hello, this is an ad for Sensationally Simple Scents, located in Adrian, Michigan, in Lenaway County. Now, this is a black-owned business. This is um, this is not my business. This is my friend's business. Uh, she's a single mother of two. She's a she. Um, she works full time, and so I offered because her products are so great I offered to start making videos and advertisements for her um, not no money for me because uh, I just think her products are really really good I quit buying store-bought soaps because her soaps were so good um, now here is a poppy seed you know, we see here, let me see what this one is. This one is a jasmine, this one's lavender. I'm not sure which these ones are. She hadn't yet put the, on some of the last time I went over to her house to get them, buy them. Um, some of them, they hadn't had their wrapper put on them yet. So um, there's a pumpkin. This one, I'm not sure what that one is, but it's really pretty. Handsome. Okay, this one. Oh, this one is a uh, clove soap. That is jewelweed. Jewelweed is good for um, poison ivy, poison oak, poison sumac. Um, helps soothe the skin. It has anti-inflammatory properties. There's a bigger jewelweed. This one's a smaller jewelweed. That one's a bigger jewelweed. Oh, I'm just goat milk, cranberry. Saffron, Lily of the Valley, Vanilla and Tobacco. Um, this one is, okay, Black Cherry Merlot. She says that one's limited time. She's not going to be making any more for right now. Sorry about that. You might be able to get the last few on her, um, on her order page. She's got a WordPress page. Shows her soaps. You can order from there doesn't show all her soaps you could possibly ask her for more on the page you know through the page she's also on Facebook here now again don't know what that one is and there's uh, patchouli and mint um, she also sells lotions dog soap which you know bathe the dogs um, it has some dog paw soap some uh, what is it? Dog paw lotion type stuff. Some balm you can put on your dog's feet. Uh, paws. It's supposed to be um, help relieve like the cracking and dryness I suppose. I don't know. I don't have a dog. I told her she made it in a cat formula that I'd buy some. You can't use the dog soap on the cats because she told me it has neem oil and it's, the neem oil is not good for cats. But she does have lotion. She has, uh, what is it, beard gel. She has a few other things. I um, uh, think she even has a uh, chapstick. Can't remember what else she has. Bath bombs. She either has or she's going to make them shower melts. Shower, shower streamers is what she calls them. You put them in the shower and it makes a... Shower smell nice. I'll tell you what, if you like a nice smell, though, you don't have to worry about it because these soap really do smell up the bathroom um, when you're using them. Um, heck, we can smell it through the whole house. Of course, we live in a two-bedroom trailer home, so it, you know, it's not that big of an area. But I can smell in the living room when my partner's taking a shower. Um, now, this over here... The poppy seed, my partner does not like it because he says the poppies come off. They, they go down the drain. I don't know. He complains about everything. He's a white too. You know how they are. they got to have something to complain about because they have nothing to complain about. But anyways, it has exfoliate. Look, the poppies. Look at that. Isn't that cute? Um, it's exfoliating. The poppy, um, the poppies, they help, you know, get that dry skin off and help, you know, kind of brush off the oils. Uh, there was also a fur needle that I just got done using. That one's really good for exfoliating too. It's got the salt in there. 
which uh, helps exfoliate. I think it was a little too exfoliating for me, a little too drying for me. I have eczema. So I probably won't get it again for myself, but I would recommend it for people who do have oily skin, problem skin, maybe even flaking skin. Um, haven't tried her pumpkin yet. Uh, haven't used the jewel weed, any jewel weed yet. Haven't had to. I like to just have it around just in case, you know. I'm a gardener and I'm a bird watcher and I'm a nature watcher and I'm a nature photographer, so I need that. <laughs> um, anyway, so here is her, what I have right now, what I bought from her. That's her stock. Um, I'll be making more videos, hopefully getting more videos online. She's going to be trying to make some more videos for me to post. I'm going to try and go over there next weekend and get some more, you know, videos and maybe her making the stuff. Maybe just get a video of just a bunch of her soaps all together. Um, in fact, maybe I'll even get a video of her if she wants to be shown on, you know, if she wants to be seen on YouTube, you know. Which it might be a privacy thing. Maybe she wants to kind of keep her face hidden. So, anyways, um, I'll put the link in the description. I'll put all the links to her Facebook page and her WordPress. And um, you can order, I'm telling you, you'll really, the bars are typically about $7 a piece. The jewel, this jewel weed, she only charged me $2 for this smaller jewel weed, um, which I think would be large enough for somebody just to have in their house for years without using it all up, you know, just keep it in your medicine cabinet. Um, instead of calamine lotion, you could use that. Um, and what's it, now this one I believe was seven dollars, six or seven dollars. Um, yeah, they're all pretty much seven dollars. They're about four and a half to five ounces each. Look how nice looking they are. I really like it because she put sparkles in there and she's got the different color swirls. Um, she does have specialty soaps. I don't have any right here right now. But she does have some where she'll put like a little fruit on top. or You can see on her WordPress page. Um, some of the really nice, now the designer ones, um, the more artisan ones, them, she's going to say her limited time. Them take her, oh, yep, okay, see, see. See, I don't have that open. That's still in the plastic package. But you can see there's the cherry right there. Um, that's one, like I said, that's her artisan soap. She's not going to be having that. She'll probably make them in the future, but she's just not making them right now. Um, anyways, um, also right now it might be harder for her to get certain um, supplies because you know coronavirus whatever so a lot of people candle makers are having the same problem getting supplies right now um, I have a friend who I buy my candles from and she is not going to be making any because it's really hard for her to get supplies so she's just going to be selling what she has and then hopefully by the time she runs out she can get more so anyways I'm talking about this seller not that one but anyways, you want to know, I'll tell you what, instead of buying somebody, if you don't know what to buy somebody, buy them the soap. You know, buy them, as, pay as much as you would if you were going to get them some other gift. Just buy that amount of soaps. They'll use this. You can't go wrong with it. Oh, another thing, there's no aloe in any of these soaps. Um, I'm allergic to aloe. I have yet to find any of her soaps that have aloe and I've checked them all before I buy them and none of them that I've seen have aloe. Oh look at how nice that looks. Look at that color. Isn't that nice? Nice swirly and sparklies on it. Um, but anyways, what was I saying? I don't even remember what I was saying now before I said about the aloe. But, um, oh yeah, I mean this makes a nice gift. This is something everybody can use, everybody would appreciate. I don't think you're ever going to buy soap, this, you know, these soaps for some of them say, so, oh, I don't take showers, I don't take baths, I don't clean myself. You're not going to find anybody, to, they're going to appreciate this. This will not be something that they're going to say, oh, I love it, I love it, and the next thing you know, they're selling it at their garage sale. When you're conveniently out of town, they're going to have it conveniently when you're out of town that week. 
and they're going to be selling all the crap you gave them, your gag gifts or something. Don't buy gag gifts, that's just wasteful. You know, um, anyways, these are really nice gifts you're supporting. She owns and operates, at this point, she owns and operates the whole deal. Um, she would like to eventually get to the point where she could, um, because she works full time in another job, she would like eventually to get to the point, grow her business to the point where she can, you know, um, not be running this full time. She can have somebody working on this and she can actually do some hobbies. She wants to get into gardening and do some other stuff, but she just doesn't have the time because she's working full time and she's doing this. Um, when you're supporting a worthy cause, uh, Handsome, handsome soaps. Look at these handsome soaps. Um, and she is just running this from her home right now. Um, she did have a shop in Adrian and the downtown area, but with the COVID thing, she... What was it? She had to close down. They had to close down. She wasn't able to make that income, whatever, whatever. She wasn't able to make her rent, so she had to close her shop. Her shop was really nice. She had it really nicely done in there. Nice, bright shop. And so she moved all into her home, and right now, that's what she's doing right now. But she's... I think she's hoping one day to open up a shop again. It's just she needs to get the traffic in again. Her customer base established and growing. But yes, please, please, her name is Denise, and she lives in Adrian, Michigan. You will be buying directly from her. She makes these in her house, in her basement. She's owner and operator. And this is a black-owned business. Support local, support small business, support black owners. Um, they really need your help right now. And this is, and I'll tell you what, you start using these soaps. If you can afford them, you'll continue using these soaps. Okay, thank you. Bye.